Alright, so let's look at our first example for angle of depression. Uh, I've got, I'll have several of these examples. Each example will have its own video. And I'll, I'll have some examples of angle of elevation. You can check those out also. Alright, so we have an airplane is flying 10,500 feet above level ground. The angle of depression from the plane to the base of a tree is 13 degrees 50 minutes. How far horizontally must the plane fly to be directly over the tree? All right, so let's let's go ahead and just draw a picture. All right, so we've got a plane here. Okay, this is the that's the plane, and there's a tree. Let's say the tree is right here. And it says the angle of depression from the plane to the base of the tree. So we're going from here to the base of the tree. I know that's not a very straight line, but the screen's slippery when you're drawing on it. All right. So here's our tree. Okay. And it says the angle of depression is 13 degrees 50 minutes. Okay. And how far horizontally must we fly before we're directly over the tree? So how far should we fly this way before we're directly over the tree? All right. Now, whenever you're drawing the angle of depression, remember the angle of depression is measured off the horizontal. So if we have a horizontal here, and we're looking down, this is your angle of depression. Okay. All right. Students miss this all the time. Your angle of depression is measured off the horizontal. So from the horizontal, if it's 13 degrees 50 minutes and that's the angle of the depression, it's this angle here. So this is 13 degrees 50 minutes. And it says it's flying 10,500 feet above level ground. So that means the distance from here to here is 10,500 feet. All right. And we want to know how far do we need to fly horizontally to be directly over the tree. So we need this distance here, x. Okay. All right. So let's see what we've got. This is a right angle because we're directly over the tree. So that's that'll make a 90 degree angle. So let's see. We've got the angle here. This is the side opposite. This is the side adjacent, and this is your hypotenuse. So we've got opposite and adjacent. Well, what do we know opposite and adjacent? Well, that's tangent. So we've got the tangent of 13, 13 degrees, 50 minutes, is equal to opposite, which is 10,500 over x which is the side adjacent all right so if I solve for x well the x comes up here and see if I had an x here and I divided both sides by tangent the tangent would be down here in the denominator so that's 10,500 over and that's tangent of 13 degrees 50 minutes and so we get x is equal to, all right, so we've got 10,500 divided by tangent. Now, the 13 degrees, 50 minutes, uh, some calculators let you put in degrees, minutes, and seconds. And if you know how to do that, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to, I'll, I'll talk you through this. So, to put in the 13 degrees 50 minutes, we'll put 13. Now, now you've hit tangent on your calculator. So you've got 10,500, then hit the divided sign, and then hit tangent on your calculator. And then we're taking the tangent of 13 degrees, so type in the 13, 
and then for the 50 minutes you'll do plus 50 divided by 60 and then close those parentheses so basically what it'll look like in your calculator 10,500 divided by and then you'll do tan and most calculators will pop that parenthesis there and then you'll have 13 plus 50 divided by 60 and close your parentheses okay and then you'll hit enter and that is going to be x is 42,000 six four one point and I'll round it to one decimal place two and we are in feet and so this would be your answer all right all right so hopefully uh, this helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe thanks for watching